I'm Karen. I'm Bob. And in today's blog post, we're talking about the role of ideals and dreams in relationship satisfaction. So, Bob, what are ideals at all? Ideals are what you'd really want for a relationship, what you wish you had, whether you want it or not. <laughs> And why did you study ideals and love? When I first started studying love, I found that there were some people in relationships that seemed okay, but not that great. And yet they seemed really happy. Uh, and there are other people who seemed to have really good relationships and they didn't seem so happy. And I began to wonder what that might be about. And what I discovered by interviewing the people and by thinking about it was that People had ideals, and it was important not only to look at the relationship they had, but how it compared to what they ideally wanted for a relationship. So, what conclusion can we draw from your studies for our own relationships? Well, we found three things that we thought were important. The first was that ideals really do matter. Uh, in other words, it's not just the relationship you have, it's how it compares to what you wish you had. And so someone might have a really good relationship, but if their dream is way beyond that, they might think it's, relatively speaking, not that good. Or as someone else might have a relationship that doesn't seem on its face quite as good, but if their ideal isn't that high, if they don't expect that much from a relationship, they might be perfectly happy. So that was the first finding. A second finding that I thought was interesting was that the most important predictor of relationship happiness and satisfaction was not anything to do with how you felt about your partner. It was the difference between how you wished your partner felt about you mm -hmm. and how you thought they actually felt about you. <laughs> In other words, it wasn't actually you. It was the difference between what you really wanted from them and what you thought you were getting. And then the third finding that I thought was interesting was we actually had couples come in. So we not only knew what you thought about what you got from your partner, but what your partner thought he or she was giving you. And the interesting finding was how your partner felt made no difference at all. Wait, so you're saying that it didn't matter for a person's relationship satisfaction at all, how the partner felt? What mattered is how you thought they felt. What do you think they're feeling about you? In other words, if you think they're madly in love with you, <laughs> but they're not, you're happy. If you think they don't love you that much, even though they're madly in love with you, for your satisfaction, you're still not happy because you're not seeing the love. So those were the three findings. The, the, the bottom line is that ideals really matter. And so this week's blog post will tell you more about them. And is there anything that you can suggest, any takeaway for our daily life? Yes, I would suggest that when you're looking for a new relationship, you think not only about what are you looking for today, but what would you, what would you really like to have? And how does this compare to what you'd like to have? And if you're in a relationship, uh, talk to your partner, uh, not just about how things are going, but how things are going compared with the way you'd ideally like to see them be going and see how far you can get in reaching your ideal. 